I just bought the lightest weight, four stroke, full size wheeled bike you can buy on the market and it's in a class of its own. Let's check it out. You guys heard it right. This is the lightest weight, four stroke, full sized wheel set bike you can buy on the market. And like I said, it's literally in a class of its own. This is the all new Kawasaki KLX 140RF. Now I'm sure you guys are gonna have a whole bunch of questions to ask me. So go ahead, leave them down in the comments section below. This is my brand new 2021 KLX 140RF. This is the biggest wheel size bike you can buy for the KLX 140. This has a 21 inch front tire and an 18 inch rear tire, making it full size. Now I'm sure you're gonna want ask why why would you buy the klx 140 why not get like a klx 230 or maybe like the 300 r well there's a very specific reason and that is it all has to do with this frame size this frame size is a pit bike sized frame but with full size components of everything else on it so this is nearly the same size as this husky 350 but without extra weight this thing weighs in at close to 206 pounds without fuel now that's lighter than any bike there is on the market like this the lightest four stroke I can find anywhere online that's a full-size wheeled bike is some of the gas gases that come in around 218 pounds and this thing comes in at 206 so the main reason I ended up picking up this KLX 140 is because of its weight now there's a whole slew of aftermarket parts you can put on these bikes and you guys can guess what we're gonna be doing with it now one of my other favorite features of this bike and one of the reasons I absolutely love it compared to riding the old XR 100 that you guys have seen me ride for a while on the channel as well as compared to the Apollo we had way back in the day if you ever guys have watched that is that this this thing has an electric start. So this thing will fire right up at the click of a button. Now it doesn't get much better than that. When you're out on the trail, sweating your butt off, and you don't want to kickstart that thing one more time, well, this thing's got your back with electric start, which is sick because we can hook up a whole bunch of mods to that battery coming soon. Now, like I was saying, weight is a key reason that I chose this bike. It is no powerhouse, but I tell you what, it's the lightest four stroke big wheeled bike you can get. And it's literally in the class of its own. I mean, there is no other bike like this. There is no other bike you can get with a small frame size that has a full size 21 inch front tire with that 18 inch rear tire. There's just no other bike on the market. This is the only one that you can get it in. And it only comes from 2017 and up that they have this offering of the large wheels on the 140. Now, before we go any further, I want to say a massive shout out and thank Thank you to all of you guys who are watching and all the subscribers who have helped us get to this point. Without you guys, I wouldn't have this bike. So massive, massive shout out to you guys and thank you for all the support you guys have given the channel. And if you guys are excited as I am about this new bike and the new build and everything that's coming for the channel because we got a big, big year for 2022 coming for the Aaron Greenway channel, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like, subscribe for more because we got a lot of stuff coming. Now I have been looking for one of these bikes for a good hot minute and it's been a struggle to find one because these are super popular and uh, a lot of people want these right now that they're just a great beginner bike for people to go out and learn how to progress their skills in enduro and that's the exact reason I picked this up is that I want to take it from the next level from our XR100 back in the corner there and I want to step up our game get something with a little bit more power and this thing's got a lot of low end grunt compared to that Honda XR100 so I'm absolutely in love with how this thing performs out on the trail if you guys want to see some trail riding make sure you guys stick around now we picked this thing up new with slightly used hours on it it has 10 hours on the bike it's got an hour meter down in the front there and we picked this up from a kid who had too much money and not enough rider skill he just uh he crashed a couple times didn't want the bike no more so we scooped it up for a good deal and i'm super stoked now what was great is that it already came with a couple mods that i wanted to do from the get-go it came with these rental fat bars which raise the handlebars up a little bit higher which is great for someone like me who's a little bit taller it gets your hands up a little bit higher and your stance a little bit taller which is great for someone like me who is 6'1 now if you're asking what kind of size person fits on this bike you can fit probably someone between 5'6 
six and like six two is about the right height for this. And this bike is really set up for someone around 140, 150 maybe max pounds. And this thing works out great for me. Now, as you guys can see, when I sit on this thing, I still got lots of room. I can fully touch the ground. But when we go to fall over, we're able to put our foot out and save ourselves from wiping out. So this thing is really a great size for someone like me and great beginner bike for anyone who's learning how to ride enduro. Now, another set of must haves that this bike came with that I'm super pumped about is these Acerbis hand guards that are wraparounds. So they go all the way around to the edge and uh, protect your hands from if you were to fall or hit any trees. So you can smack these guys real good and nothing's gonna happen to your hand up here. As well as we have some pillow ball pro taper grips. So those are nice addition to the bike as well. And then we've also got a slightly larger gas tank compared to our Honda XR100. So we went up and got an extra liter of space to run. Now, not only does this specific model of the 140 RF have a larger wheel set front and rear, it also has a longer rear swing arm and taller front forks, which gives it a more stable stance as you're riding over some of the trail. Now in the next video we show up where we go and take this thing out for its first ride, you guys will see this thing is extremely stable out on the trail and this thing is sick on the trails. It's like the perfect, perfect, perfect trail bike. It's lightweight, full size wheels, really good cushy suspension. Electric start is an absolute dream to have and these brakes are dialed in. Going from those old drum brakes on the XR100 to having dual disc brakes on the KLX, huge improvement and made the world the difference. I am hyped up, we got a new bike, all thanks to you guys and your support on the channel. So when you leave a like, just know that you guys are tremendously helping out the channel and support us so we can get some new bikes and new stuff to build for you. We got lots of stuff coming down the pipeline for this KLX, so you guys don't want to miss out. I'm telling you what, we got so much planned and maybe we're gonna go do some racing. Mm, uh, some enduro racing on the KLX when we build it out. Big bore, cam, all that good stuff, you know? Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the channel. As you can see, we got the brand new unit out for our very first ride today and man, am I excited. Let's get on this thing and try it out for the first time. All right, first time in the trail. Oh man, this thing's sick in the trails. Pull oh, those brakes, they're super sensitive. After coming from the XR, it's a, uh, there's so much more brake. <laughs> Dude, this thing's sick in the trails. It ain't no power monster, but this thing's a trail monster. Holy crap, we left them in the dust. Yep. This thing's pretty cool, man. Okay, second's got some, some. Wow. I'm pretty impressed though. Goes pretty good. I definitely need to do some adjustments and tweak it to how my liking is. Like the clutch and the rear brake. Both need some love. Up we go. Thing climbs pretty, pretty good. I got mad death grip right now. Oh, she dark. Just picked up the bike yesterday. There's absolutely no chance in hell. I'm gonna wait all the way till next weekend to try it out. So today ain't ideal conditions, but you bet your tush. I was gonna be out here trying it. The kid that bought it, I tell you what, you can't trust people for shit anymore. I swear, every single bolt that he touched, he put back in finger loose and I'm talking everything the drain plug was in finger loose the oil filter cover was on finger loose air filter box finger loose all the plastics he touched finger loose literally everything 
the throttle was loose, the handlebars he put on, which are sick by the way. We got some dope Renthal bars. And then some aftermarket grips and stuff he put on it. But yeah, all of it was loose. We spent about five hours yesterday going over it. Nut and bolt checking the whole thing. But man, the suspension on this, thousand million times better than the uh, XR100. That's the biggest thing you like notice it is like cornering and just riding. It's so much better. So thankful for you guys watching, being able to make this happen, getting this bike. Without you guys, it seriously wouldn't have happened. trail to go and hit so here we go okay and up we go oh that's wet boys and absolutely no problem for the bike bike absolutely just eats up all the hard trails and like all the rough bumps and stuff the suspension on it is just it's just night and day better compared to that xr100 man and it really makes all the difference it's just so much more stable it's amazing honestly super stoked on this thing just climbs over all the stuff grips no problem it's, it's phenomenal skid plate starting to come down man this electric starts the greatest thing Woo! yeah man I can't wait to showcase the build that we end up doing on this bike boys so you better go down below click like subscribe for more because man we got so many so many so many good videos to come on this thing and building it all for you guys and it's gonna be so sick when we're done with this bike I mean the dopest 140. It won't be a 140 though any longer. Hee <laughs> hee. Wow, this thing's so fun, guys. It's definitely taking some getting used to coming from the small, small bike life up to this thing. And really, it's just the brakes. I'm really used to having drum brakes from that XR for riding so long that these are just incredible, but so touchy. Oh God, what are we gonna get down to in here? Okay. it up. All right. After hanging out for a little bit, having a little fire with some buddies, random other bikers showing up. Focus, stay flat. No! Oh, there he goes. 
Kind of just had to go for it with speed. Mm, uh, some enduro racing on the KLX when we build it out. Big bore, cam, all that good stuff, you know? Thank you guys so much for watching the end of the video. Make sure you guys go down below. Leave a comment if you got any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.